so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Before you, you have the minutes of the March 23rd meeting, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Motion by Sam, second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions on the minutes? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Let's pass. Uh, before you have the bills, pay, payments, and uh, transfers. I'll make a motion to accept. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Discussion? Is there any discussion? <clears throat> discussion on bills, payments, and transfers. Big none. Miranda. Roll call. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Motion carries. Before you have the uh, <coughs> treasurer's March 2021 financial statement. Is that? Oh, here it is. It's on the back of that. Is. I'll make a motion to acknowledge. Yes. Motion by Sam Small. I'll second. Second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion or questions for our treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Before you, you have the Clark Best Ralphs March 2021 financial report. Motion by Larry Count. To acknowledge. Second. Second by Sam Small. Uh, any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. The next, we have to, it seems like it's been no time ago, but we have to again, we have to pass the uh, uh, resolution on the transportation for the money we get from CRA, from our, ga our gas tax money. I'll make a motion. How much is the difference, is it? Well, it uh, increased enough that it replaced that money we were short in construction material. So okay. it was, it was, I think it was like $47,000 more than last year. So I put that in construction materials. Well, you just get it one time a year or uh, No, they send us two checks, one in August and one in January. 60% in August and 40% in January. Oh, so, there's, so you think the next one will be up to or you don't have no idea? Well, this is the county road A, so it's based on what that contract says. It's based on, yeah. This, but this is how they figure what we get out of our gas tax money. <coughs> so, you got the motion in second, Miranda? Right, I'm second. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll second if you need it. No, well, one of you, both of you made the motion at the okay. same time, so I figured the other was good. Just pick you one there, Miranda. Yeah, okay. pick somebody. We're all good. You all need, Judge, you have two spots to sign in, and everybody else needs to sign on the very back of the room. Yeah, it's all back. Actually, this time it looks like you have two places to sign. Yes, <coughs> I do too. But I don't see, I don't see my second place. Right here. You can get to me. No, it's fine. No, I, I need all their signatures. I know that. Okay. I'm saying I found my other one. Okay. Here you go. Will you two sign this, and then we'll pass it back up to the other. Right. Well, we ain't Thank said vote on it yet. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the flag sign. Okay. Now you're, you've got to sign my phone. I found the other place. Yeah, that is the A's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. be, I'll be laying with this stuff. I'll give you the whole package. Justin, how you doing, buddy? Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, <coughs> don't don't get there. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I can't see. I'm glad you have the 
We actually announced it at the last court meeting. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Not I couldn't remember. I saw a text. I, I didn't know what time, though, for sure. I was thinking it was Tuesday, Jason, instead of getting an early start. I want to apologize to you for not being here last week or last meeting. The judge had forgot. I told him I wouldn't be here because I was quarantined. Yeah. So, uh, Hey, I'm sorry for not being here. I want to apologize to everybody. Did you get the? Did you have the? <coughs> I never got it, but my daughter did, and yeah. even my wife got it after her shots. Even, yeah. so. After the shots? But she didn't have no symptoms, but she oh, tested yeah. it. Oh, there you go. Uh, I, think I went over this with their baby, you, Larry. Yeah. This is our next item of business. If you notice, matter of fact, one thing on there was specifically by your uh, suggestion. I already messed it all up. We was going to change it. He showed up. Yeah. They was going to take it all the way to your district. The three of them were going to divide it between the three of them. There's three portions. We just thought since those three were here, we yeah. just do that. Well, we can, there's four of us here. We can divide all three of them before. Okay. Okay. This is what was left over from last year. And it, it's all road money that y'all hadn't used. I don't know which ones you had. Uh, the next three is that 480 of chip and sale money. Uh -huh. But she took it three blocks so we get the money back quicker. So when so much is done, she'll turn it in, then turn it in, turn it in. Okay, the next one's cars for the sheriff's office. And they know that this year and next may be the end of that. And then on down here on road repair and maintenance, that's your suggestion. That's for the using the chip and seal machine to patch with places that need to be patched. Okay. Uh, one question. On this, uh, on this uh, 191 money, when does that mean? Uh, uh, the earliest that we can expect yeah. that. July, well, I mean, we won't physically have the money, but we have enough in savings to spot us. Okay, that, so I guess that was my question. I want to know if we had enough money to get started on Chip and Seal in this beautiful weather to, yes. to uh, yes, we did. say like him in, in my district, a couple hundred thousand dollars or whatever. We do have that. Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, so I need a motion and a second on the House bill. Right. So moved. Second. Uh, for, for discussion, I'll explain something. The motion's reading that this list you're approving has got a resolution number, and then when the uh, co service people, DLG, sends a resolution, I'll sign. So that's, that's the way you don't have to deal with it again. But it'll be exactly this list. Did you get a second, Jason? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. So is there any further discussion? Big nuts, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Draw? Yes. Bullock? Yes. <coughs> that motion carries. We feel, we feel pretty safe with that amount right there. I mean, well, if there was any, if there was any uh, difference, it would be in that last line item. And that's going to be the roof on the ambulance service. Unless this repair fixes it, if it fixes the ambulance service, it would be on the road department's uh, bill. Yeah. Uh, then, the Could next thing, like yeah. the next thing I have is a, is a personnel hiring. I'm going to put up Cassidy Stevens as our payroll clerk at $15.93 per hour, effective April the 25th. Uh, and of course, that's the person that's replacing uh, Lunetta. And we need this, uh, we need the roll call vote. Did she pass all the uh, qualifications? Yes. Okay. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Pull up? Yes. Okay. That motion carries. And I have signed the order here. Her husband is the power chief of mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing's committee reports. And I'm going to do it first. I go first. Uh, we, meaning uh, the management, department ed, and myself, have been concerned for some time about our employee morale. So we came up with a survey, and I had Kenny Altry to go about, and he interviewed every county employee. And here is the stats that come from that. If you want to hand them, I'll give you the letter. They're supposed to have them yeah, on the rates today. Yeah, let's go and get that one. Thing. 
Okay. I think so. We'll do we'll, we'll, Sorry, I can't spell. I think that one disgruntled and one fought. Yeah, we're him. still, you know, <laughs> I'm waiting about for that, that and then we'll. And I thought I had enough. Here we go. Uh, and I was very pleased with it. Uh, matter of fact, it was one issue that I knew for sure who it came from just because of the significance of the way the question was answered. And we were able to fix it for that employee. A grievance he had, and we were able to to fix it. It was something we could do. So, overall, I was very pleased with this. Uh, the chain of command being followed, I assumed, was at me talking to employees when I should talk to their department head or their leadership team member. Uh, I should, so I'm going to own that one. And I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do better with it. Well, let me ask you a question. So I'm reading this, and the good percentage numbers. But like, how many employees are we talking about? About 130. So it, this was every. Em well, did he go to the sheriff's department? Yeah. No. He well, only he only did in the other departments the elected officials spot people. Okay. On so the, probably on about like half that. Road, road 60. park, senior center, offices here. Mm -hmm. It was 100 percent. Yeah. yeah, but the clerk and the uh, sheriff and jail. Yeah, yeah they, they were just yeah. mm -hmm. um, We also surveyed the team leaders to ask what they felt like they needed to do their jobs, and overwhelmingly, it was training. They felt like they needed more training. The attendance policy is still kind of. It, it is, but uh, and we're just going to explain that more and try to get people to understand it more. But the truth is, we had such a uh, uh, not showing up for work problem, attendance problem. So what we had to do something. Uh, one of the talk about doing away with the incentive. Well, that, that's uh, that's something we're not going to do. But some of them didn't like it that a guy working right beside them was getting more because they held a piece of paper showing they was qualified to do something. But on that day, they wasn't done and did work on the same thing that this person's done and made forty cents an hour less than the one that was buying because they had. Yeah, but the, every every employee has that opportunity. The one with the forty percent less has the opportunity to get yeah. that. Yes. So yes. it's fair. But yeah, I thought they might like that. Really, I was kind of shocked. Well, hey, the ones that's getting it, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> and on the attendance policy, it's working great. <coughs> I don't think we've had less than a handful of employees that have gotten close. Uh, and uh, I was sort of totally surprised on number six for. Uh, because sometimes when I hear things, it was like the uh, things weren't consistent from department to department, and it sounds like they thought it was. Oh, man, <coughs> and if they didn't uh, allow for uh, substandard work. So that's what I wanted to do. It took quite a bit of time, and I thought it was important to do, but it came back great, and uh, I didn't expect this. Had it come back in another way, well, we would have been talking about what to do about it. But since we got a 97% uh, and 100% in certain categories, very few that was disgruntled with anything we had. And like I said, one of those we was able to uh, take care of. Was there any exactly when you interviewed, they wrote anything down? Was there like comments for what they're disgruntled about that we? Yes, and we pretty much like said one would say, well, I got to write up for uh, not being to work on time, but I didn't know I was going to wake up sick. So these down here are summaries of kind of what yes. those. Yes. Okay. I and mean, there's very few. Yeah. Very few. Well, and that's what I wanted though. I mean, you don't know unless they put those out there. And that's what it's for. Yeah. That's very few yeah. of it. And uh, the. Uh, Okay, and this one we're going to own and do. 
uh, some thinks that the new employees, before they go to work, don't have their safety uh, orientation, and that's true. Sometimes we forget it all together, and sometimes it's two weeks after they're here. So we're going to own that one, too, and start making sure everybody gets their safety breaking before they go to work, wherever they go to work. Uh, I will make a comment on that, Judge. Over the years that I've been on the court, we've been very fortunate as courts to uh, not to have any really serious accidents with the, with equipment or with yes. trucks or whatever. We have. We, we've been fortunate, and so not going to litigate. No. Well, but we, safety yeah. is safety. I think has always been a key issue, and quite frankly, personally, I don't think you can get too much safety no. because. Yeah, you know, we've had one fatality since I've been here, and. Uh, that was an office worker here going to the bank. Yeah, but she was. Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, she was in her own. Personal yeah, work. but still, she's on our time, and we right. still had to. We still had to own that one. So that was very. You know, and that's what I'm, I'm glad to see this in a way because mm -hmm. if morale's good, it does. When your morale's bad, that's when everything. That's when you start having problems <laughs> and accidents. And, well, you know. I, I think some of our newer department heads. Uh, nothing, nothing against what other would have done, but some of the newer ones have really uh, been conscientious of this. And when they were hard in, uh, I put that in their orientation that that morale was an issue they need to work on, and I believe they have. Uh, so I believe I believe that's it. Another that? thing here, uh, of course, you no, know, you know what department it came from, even though the court wasn't going to show it that they wanted long flags on some of the equipment. That absolutely makes sense. So several times I worked with the road department and almost got run over. That's probably what's going to get it. So we're going to try to do everything. That, that would be a pretty big, pretty easy fix. Oh, yeah. yeah. If it's not already fixed, it will be yeah. Yeah. shortly because it's already been Or even invest in some good flashing uh, lights, you know, with uh, right. LED lights and put out the receipt. Well, thank you for whoever did this. Yeah. Uh, Ken, Kenny Autry, and he spent a lot of time in it and went in detail with it. Uh, when, when he talked to people, he had a checklist. He asked everybody the exact same questions. Uh, are there any other committee reports? Uh, Judge, have we talked about the day we haven't met since then, have we? And so no, would you please give that report? Well, if you want to chime in there and elaborate somewhat. But we had a real productive, uh, progressive meeting, I think. and. Uh, the judges from Rackenridge County, Edmondson County, uh, Butler County, and along with David were there, and uh, along with some jailers. And uh, I thought in the first step, the initiation of this, it uh, went real well. And you may want to contribute a little more to it. Yeah. Yes, we. Uh, I think uh, our terminology might change on some of it, but I believe it's going to happen. Uh, once we, uh, uh, Justin's going to get the uh, people from uh, corrections down here to meet with us the next time we all have them together. We may not call it, uh, uh, to me it makes sense to call it a regional jail. That's not necessarily the right term, but it will be a multi-county partnership jail between three. Breckin County, Ridge County was here because he's had a successful jail <laughs> program. He's been able to, uh, uh, Save the county a lot of money up there, and so Larry thought, "Well, there's a guy to talk to on that." And he was uh, he was helpful in some ways. He gave us some kind of idea of what it cost to run one. What did he say? That they had a hundred. They had two hundred beds. Two hundred beds. Now did they get did they get inmates from somewhere else? Oh yeah, state. That's federal, what another county. Not state, not federal. Yeah, state yeah. and other counties. Yeah, federal prison is quite frankly where your money's at. But yeah. Well, but once people like us and other build these other jails, is that going to hurt his jails? You know what I mean? Take, take inmates from him. Well, we hope so. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Though, right? My yeah. point. I, know, I, I don't kind of, think it was any type of grievance from him. No. Yeah. He no. just he was just here strictly to help and tell yeah. us about what the cost of operations and stuff and such was. Yeah. And he's very informative on it, uh, but. Uh, he made, a, he made a difference, I think, in, in the discussions that we had. Well, I really think if we ever have a jail, this is the only way that it's ever going to happen. I would agree. That's the only way it's going to happen. And yeah. what, what I understand from, and David can attest to this too, but the judges that we talked to, they're, they're, uh, they're on board. Yeah. And they don't have any problem where that's going to be. And so that's that's one of the 
pitfalls I thought that may happen. Yeah, I don't think nobody in there don't care what it's at. Well, the jailer probably does, but but the rest of no, the judge didn't. Is if it's a central location, sort of between the three counties, which ideally it would be really near uh, the uh, Parkway or I-165. It would be real near that, either in Butler or Oroi County, either one. It'd be in that area. Then Edmonton County comes up 70, and they're there. Yeah, yeah. you know the Cromwell exit there. Yeah. It'd be in that vicinity, which that could go either way. That's right there on the line. Yeah. That's what I, I was thinking. That's that's about where it would be too. Yeah, um, and, and and in this partnership, it won't matter to us. I mean, other than driving a mile uh, more or less, mm -hmm. uh, it won't make make any difference to us. And all counties, all three counties, would manage it and all that. Uh, <laughs> Here's my question, because I understand this is the only way. But let, let's say it's in Ohio County. When Edmondson County brings an employee, I mean, no, excuse me, not an employee, inmate. Let's talk about an inmate, who's re It'll be governed by a board. Okay. A board of, from the different counties, and what that make of the board is undecided right now, but to be a board that oversees the hiring and the firing and whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be a joint, a joint effort by all three counties, so. And as far as counties making money, it all is going to this facility right. anyway, yeah. so it's not like counties are, and, and, and the uh, deficit, whatever it is, would be split among the, it was not totally decided whether it's the population of the county or the amount of inmates that we average having there, one or the other. But that's what the difference would be on one of those two things. Uh, that, that, those issues didn't seem to come up in it. They, they were pretty troubled. I would thought they would probably. No, they make labor, Jason. Because you know, yeah. I can see Ohio County, they're going to say, well, your population is a lot more than Edison County. Yeah. We should be only paying yeah. of the deficit. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think we said that the conversation could happen. Mm -hmm. But I was pleased that it all went great. That meeting did. And, uh, <coughs> uh, of course, I'm talking about between Larry and, and the other judges and myself, it was all positive. Uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, people that are in, work in the jail field probably think of more things than we do, but we're thinking of a way of sharing the cost and having them. And the, I remember the Edmondson County judge was quiet for a long time, and he finally said, well, either anywhere in that location is fine with me. I don't care if it's all the way to Beaver Dam or Morgantown. So we, we're on board. Because he knows he probably can't afford a new jail either. I mean, they're kind of like us. Yeah. There's no way he can get it. But he, he said, I want to know for sure that when we arrest somebody, we've got some place we can get them in without to drive 100 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, he was a former uh, sheriff before he was judge. And back to Jason's point, uh, neither county is able to financially build a new jail. Yeah. And that's the whole purpose of trying to uh, consolidate three different counties to deal with it. Well, and let me ask you this, since we're talking about it, I mean, and I know the sheriff would like 911 centers. Is that something? Uh, it's, a, it, it's a different conversation, but yes, that's, a, that's something. Yeah. That's, yeah. That'll probably come up that'll probably, uh, somewhere down the line. That'll, that'll come yeah. up in conversation. You're right. Thank you. All right. Is there yeah. other committee reports? Uh, I want to point a new one, but I can't point it off. Which one of you guys would be willing to serve on a committee that's going to address hard, we've talked about it ever since I've been in office, about littering? Uh, it's probably the worst detriment, detriment to our county at this time for people coming in. Uh, I know we have a drug culture here and we have a a lot of things, but that's not as visible to people coming in, coming through our community for tourism and what have you. So, I'm going to set up a task force or something. I know We've that. got uh, laws and stuff, but it's like evidently they don't enforce them. We've got to find a way of enforcing them. Yeah, I do think the one law we did put in, if it wasn't for, I mean, it's not, it was a good law that was yeah. part of it. I think some of that problem is, that we were talking about that in a, when are the inmates going to be able? Because you know, Riverdale, right right they did such a good job, and I've noticed in areas now, because they've not been able to be out, that's why the trash has been 
but I say more right. visible. Because yeah. well, he does such a good job. You'll see plenty of them. Well, that's what I'm saying, but the inmates have not, for over a year, have not been able to get out where they used to get out and clean. Yeah, they, they, they did a really good job, and, and uh, I can attest to what uh, Jason is saying since uh, they've not been able to since the COVID. Uh, I think that makes it look. Out. It's made a difference. It's made a difference. Because they did a really good job. Uh, I picked up Saturday and went down. I, I did a, actually not Sunday, I think uh, yesterday, uh, in front of my house on 231. Then I turned down, uh, down AG Daniel and basically it was just the part that joins my property. I got two significant bags of trash. Oh, I think it's, I think it's just this year you're really seeing it. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. But anyway, which one of you guys would like to serve on it? There'll be people from, uh, uh, of course, Jody from uh, Economic Development, the other Jody from Tourism, both from the park. Uh, and uh, we're going to have the, they invite the public in here to a forum on it. We're I say to, Joe. Huh? Joe. Okay, you going to Joe on it? Joe will serve on it. Yeah, he's on it. Okay, we're he's not here, so. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Joe Barnes is on that committee. Okay, he's <laughs> making motion. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got here. <laughs> <laughs> but I do really think, I mean, I know what you're saying, but I think that is the huge difference this year. Oh, certainly. Yeah. Uh, next thing, we no about the committee reports. Can I say one more thing about that real quick? Yeah. Did we not talk about giving, well, like if Little League lit teams or some kind of... We are. Okay. Yeah, that might need to be advertised a little bit more. We're, that we're doing it. We're, we're some already done. Okay. The grant can actually make a contribution to a club. Yes. That does it. Little Raven grant. That's that needs to be get out. That there are if there's clubs or little leagues or any kind of cheerleaders, cheerleaders, anything yeah. like that that wants to go out and pick up on a road, then we make contributions to the. Uh, I guess who would they contact? Charlie. Then they contact Charlie Shields. So. Miranda. At 270-298-4412. And you get that number. Yeah. You got it, Dustin? I don't know that a lot of people know about that. I think, too, we need to concentrate on the enforcement of when they throw it out the window. That's yeah, what I'm got, talking about. Yeah. That's what I, this is going to be. Jason was talking about literally. Yeah. Well, I was talking about somebody cleaning, help cleaning. Yeah, that we, would, uh, we need. We're well, we did put some teeth in it years yeah. ago. Where it's a five hundred dollar fine. Yeah, there's a side, there's five hundred dollar fines. Get it in for. But now the dumps we're doing better on. Yeah. There's been several yeah. people cited on the dumps. Well, uh, even the houses. Justin, I guess some of them pay fines. Yeah, we don't get a whole lot of litter charges. I mean, I, I, I would say litter and I probably had maybe three this past okay. year or last year but the dumping is where you get it yeah, we, we have one significant dumping charge right now on an individual that did it out in uh out more of the waterways so uh, we do have that okay. all right uh if, if there's no other committee reports i'm going to go ahead and give you a quick covid report uh we are doing better uh in all categories except one our cases per day is going down. We're averaging two. Some days there's three, some day one, but we're averaging about two cases a day. Uh, the uh, percentage of people who come back positive keep going down. And the one that's not going down, not helping us, we've had two new deaths within the last week. So our death rate from COVID is really bad. How old were they, David? I'm sorry. How old were they? Uh, one of them was about our age. Oh, 54? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the other one may, have, may be a little older. One male, one female. Uh, that's, that's about as much information as we get. We can usually read the obituaries and figure it out, but they don't tell us okay. on the report who it was. But they just tell us how many it was. Um, but that's where it is. So please, everybody, please continue just a little bit longer to be careful. Uh, wear your mask, uh, watch your distance, wash your hands, and go get your shot if you haven't already. And I, I will say that, and that's the end of my COVID report, but just hang in there, folks, continue to be careful. Just in a little while, we're going to be better. The governor's new projection is that the mask mandate, many of the other mandates will be lifted around the 1st of June. 
and it was previously projected to be the 1st of July. So it looks like we're a little bit ahead of the game in the state of Kentucky. Um, we, if we do not see a, a surge over Easter and spring break, I'm going to say we're definitely going to stay on the right declining track. Uh, okay, now we're ready for Matthew's comments and requests. Start out with you, Sam. Uh, yeah, I got a uh, couple things to say. First off, uh, tire amnesty in Ohio County is uh, this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, Thursday and Friday, it is 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, it is 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. They are taking big truck tires, uh, I was told. And uh, please, if you have them, uh, bring them in and, and get them in here. And, and uh, it will be uh, at the park across from the road department in the uh, emergency management's lot. So uh, feel free to bring them. What time is that, Sam, on Thursday and Friday? 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, please okay. let us in. Okay, thank you. And, uh, and that's really all I got. Appreciate it. Okay. Jason. No, I was at the roads, but I'll just wait till the next meeting when they get the report back. For okay, and, and the, oh, this was committees, but your uh, suicide prevention committee hasn't met lately. No. Okay, okay. maybe we can the next month. I think we're meeting tomorrow. Okay. Really? Because I haven't got an email about it. Who did it come, did it come from somebody? I have it on my calendar for noon tomorrow. Okay, because usually they'll give me an email. I didn't go to the last one, so see, I don't know the dates. And usually they would. Okay. Unless it's recurring, but in my calendar, unless it's recurring. Let me write that down. And I don't know if it's virtual or not, so. <coughs> okay. So I, I can. Uh, David, I just wondered, and Curry, when we need to maybe schedule another meeting for some jail talk. Uh, he, he's working on it. Actually, he's going to get uh, Charlie getting with Justin on when the uh, uh, corrections department can come down. They'll be done, but it should be within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we were going to try to do it this week, but there's a conference all the judges are going to yeah. and everything. So they just couldn't do it this week. She was supposed to give some dates for the next week. Yeah. And I want to thank Justin for being there as well at the meeting. So he, he, his, uh, his comments were, were uh, needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the other than that judge, I don't think. Yeah. I got something from the city of Beaverdam, and I was talking to a person about it, and he said, why are you so concerned? Well, I can tell you why. Notice by Beaverdam Water, during this, our routine monitoring, our water system tested positive for total something. And I won't read it all. When this occurred, we are required to conduct assessments to identify problems and to correct any problems that are found. We failed to conduct the required assessment by 8620. As our customers, you have a right to know what happened and what we are doing. If, to correct this, if you are, if you have a severely compromised immune system, pregnant or elderly, you may be at an increased risk and should seek advice from your health care provider about the drinking water. You should also seek advice from your health care provider about using your water if you have an infant. General guidelines on ways to lessen the risk of infection by bacteria and other disease are available from EPA safe drinking. But my question is, this happened last last year in the seventh and eighth month, and they just sent a letter out telling people about this. <laughs> and I've got a grandson that sure don't need to be drinking that water. And people really need to start taking notice of what's going on in their community. Yeah. Uh, well, I can explain that notice. Do I? I don't. I can explain why you get that now and didn't then. Uh, being my job is, is in water. So I don't know the, the, the exacts of, of actual beaver dam. More than likely there was a test that was exceeded at some point in time uh, last year. It was not caught. 
it could have been a simple uh, typo. We had one about five years ago. Somebody simply missed the decimal point and we had to do the exact same thing. It's called public notification. And that is part of the requirements when it does happen. Uh, and it was not a big outbreak. It wasn't like they just knew they'd done it because that's why it's so long. You have 24 hours to report it once they see something, unless it's like a typo or it's something that happened that they did not catch and report at that very moment. I don't think it's a typo. My question is why they're just now telling it. It's because now they just now are putting out the public notice because they didn't do it then. More than likely, they're going to pay fines for not doing anything. But they have to go ahead and follow through with that process, even though they didn't. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you'd like to know it right immediately. But that is why you get one now, and it happened last year, because it still has to be followed through. The law still has to be followed. And if it had happened on town and manor, they would put out a bullet, bullet advisory, right? They would have. And if and they're very good. Most water systems, or all of them I know, are very good at, at automatically initiating the ball if it's seen or noticed. You know, it, it very much could have been something that was not caught by anyone because the state, they turn in monthly operating reports to the state, <coughs> and if the state didn't even catch it till now, then uh, of course they're backed up too. But. Well, they caught it in 8-6, and they did, or were they supposed to conduct it just now sending it. I think that's pretty poor, letting people know. And if you had a sick grandson, you'd be a little bit more concerned, too. Hey, I'm really concerned. It ain't about not being concerned. I ain't saying that. Right. I'm just explaining why they send it out now based on back then. And, you know, it, it, it's always good to be concerned about your water, and, and we need to know. Uh, but they're trying to do the right thing now because it, it has to be followed. And, and I ain't saying it right or wrong or what did happen there. It's just, I know the laws and, and that's why it happens now. You know the procedure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even sometimes those boil advisories can come out and they say it was effective the day before or two days before. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Just get them out, I guess, as quickly as they know. That's all I have. Justin? No judge, thank you. Well, if no one else has anything for the good body, we're going to call this meeting adjourned. See you back here uh, two weeks from tomorrow. And uh, a budget workshop at four that day.